Uh, what do you need to understand about net present value? Well, this is a live stream Q and A. It is not a tutoring session. Uh, I will comment briefly, uh, Luis. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So net always means difference. Net. So when you think of net, you should be thinking of a difference. And then there's this concept called present value, right? So when we do, for example, discounted cash flow is a valuation technique. You know, Brian is uh, not only a test geek, he's also a math geek. Mm -hmm. And I say, hey, Brian, uh, I'd like you to use discounted cash flow to tell me what the present value of this bond is I'm considering purchasing. And so Brian comes back and he says, Dean, the present value of the bond is nine, 990. That's the present value. And then Brian says, this kind of geeks we are together. He said, well, Dean, uh, I just told you the present value is 900. What's the price of the bond? What is the net present value? I go, damn, Brian, it's 900. It's zero. There is no net present value. He goes, well, what are you going to do about that? I said, well, I guess the market's pretty efficient, Brian, because I was hoping there would be a difference between what you just told me the present value is and the price. And I say, hey, try this new, that's other bond. I got another bond for you, Brian. Now, listen, I said this before, and somebody took me to task, Brian. My guy was called Lee. Lee is my guy who really did math for me professionally. When the math was important, it needed to be done professionally. I would pay him to do it because I want to know the math is pristine and whether it's a discounted cash flow or whatever it is. Anyways, I said that and this guy said, well, you shouldn't be in our business if you can't do your own math. I said, well, I assure you there are all kinds of people in our business who are uh, higher out the math and there's all kinds of math people that do pretty, pretty well in our business as well. So I say, Brian, can run the numbers on this next bond. And he calls me, he said, Dean, I got the math done. Uh, present value on this one is uh, 950. I go, woohoo. He goes, why are you excited? I said, Brian, I can get the bond for 930. You just told me the present value is 950. It has net present value positive of 20. So Luis, in evaluation technique, I found a good deal. I found a good deal because I can buy it for 930 and its present value is 950. So you kind of need to recognize that positive net present value is a valuation, is a good deal. I'm simplifying what you would say. Undervalued is probably the way we'd say that on the test. And then if, if uh, Brian tells me it's 950, I go, damn, it's 980. It's got negative net present value. So I would relate it to this idea. I'm not going to have to do any math here about overvalued or undervalued. Your thoughts, Brian? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I have an 18 minute video on YouTube. 18 minutes. Something like that. <laughs> I know. Uh, on net present value, discounted cash flow, time value of money. Uh, the 65, you're not going to see too much of it, especially as much as you see in the textbooks. Yeah. But there might be a couple of them. Uh, look at the YouTube. It makes it so much easier, especially for the 65. So, so, though, so a couple things for those of you who may be new and joining us. Uh, I, I don't promise to do it tonight, but by tomorrow, anytime Brian mentions one of his YouTube videos or I mention a video, what I do is I put that in the video description, the link, so you can go there. Now, you don't need to wait for me to do that. You can go to Brian has a free YouTube channel for Test Geek. So he does have some free content there that's available. And so if you don't wait for me to post the link, just go there directly and you can find that. And uh, as usual, Brian's pretty good. I also have a Luis a tutoring replay where I uh, did a tutoring session with somebody on what's called analytical methods. And that is part of that. And so you can, I'll link that as well. 